Hey there, my name is Joyce, or you can call me J1 Ting. Growing up as a child in Singapore, my life revolves a lot around food. And that's when I fell in love with the melting pot of cultures and heritage of food. It makes me wonder if someday I am able to collect a catalogue of recipes for my families and friends to share. This year, I decided to plunge myself to rediscover my childhood adventures. So, welcome to a new food series with me. And welcome to Cookbook with Jay. Oh, hi there! Well, today not only our Zui, our mouth will be blessed, but our stomachs will be blessed with super good menu too! Welcome to Cooper with Jay episode 6! It's our final episode of this series, but I am sure we will meet again sometime. Well, today we're going to have some party going on, but first up, Chef Marcus! Yes, he's my guest today. Chef, I need to pronounce your restaurant properly. Please, let's give it a try. Yeah? Chef Marcus from Rubato. Rubato. <laughs> yeah, that's Rubato. quite a distinctive <laughs> ring to it. Uh, you get it right. You got it right. Almost yeah. there. Almost, almost there. there. Yeah, keep it almost up. There. Well, a, introduce yourself. Like, Chef, there's something fun about you. I think uh, we've been cooking for the longest time. Uh, well, all over the world. In different restaurants, Michelin restaurants in uh, cooking traditional oh. European cuisine, Italian cuisine. No wonder but this you time, are up for this challenge. Absolutely, yeah. Oh. We want to put ourselves to the test. Yeah. We're going to present to our friends and viewers the firecracker pochetta. Pochetta. The pochetta. Chef, is it like a pochetta? Huh? I mean, Chinese well, we also eat pochetta. 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 Well, it's, it's going to be wrapped and it's going to be raw, but it's uh, not quite a pochetta. <laughs> <laughs> what say we just take a tour of uh, the, the ingredients, ingredients right? We're going to uh, introduce these cheeses which we find so versatile, the Morinaga cheeses, mm -hmm. the ME4 and the Hokkaido paste, yes. uh, which we will be using in combination, right, um, to stuff the, uh, the middle section of this uh, porchetta, oh. which, uh, as you will see, after we roast, uh -huh. will lend itself to a, to a fabulous presentation at the end of the evening. So, ah, okay. we've got some very fresh... Uh, Chioba. Chioba, yeah, pork. <laughs> Raw, of course. Pork. Right, ready, um, ready uh -huh. to be blanched. Uh -huh. Salt and pepper, very mm -hmm. traditional uh, seasoning. Yes. We've got the two cheeses which we mentioned. Yes. We've got the garlic and mm -hmm. the, Mediterranean, the Mediterranean herb that we all love. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring to the forefront some of these interesting um, ingredients which you may not have uh, experienced before. So this is Oil. maltose. Mm. So this is one of the secret ingredients we use in, con in conjunction with a whiff, and you will notice immediately what this is. Vin vinegar? Vinegar. <laughs> yeah. So the tartness uh, hits you right away. Yeah. Ta, Chef, the... is this um, edible noodles? Well, uh, it may look edible, but I would <laughs> suggest... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be using that for trussing later. Oh, so, okay. So, shall we start? Better. Yes. Absolutely. So, the first step will be to blunch um, the pork. And Blanched before up. that, we are going to introduce the... Maya tang. Mal yes, exactly. Maltose. Maltose. Yeah, you did Maya it. Maya tang. So here we go. We can just pop it in there without uh, blanching in the hands. Perfectly done. Chef Joyce in the house. <laughs> Final episode, I became a chef. There you go. <laughs> the vinegar, you vinegar. just uh, <laughs> pop it in here. Oh, it's like bubbling already, the maltose. Yes, and if you please, just a bit of a, a, a good stir. So th this makes up makes us up the uh, composition of mm -hmm. the maltose mm -hmm. with uh, the vinegar. We're going to very quickly blanch. The sioba. So blanching is uh, a very very swift process where you bring water to boil, uh -huh. and then you pop this in for approximately thirty seconds. <gasps> so, That's fast. Yeah. So you, you oh. don't you don't want to uh, effectively cook it, but you just want to uh, blanch oh. it to seal the exterior of the meat. After thirty seconds. We bring the blanched pork belly out of the blanching pot. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at this! So there we go. We're just going to pop this on a kitchen towel. Mm -hmm. What we do is actually we puncture yeah, the skin of the pork. Right? Just slightly. You don't have to go all the way down. Give it a go. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks. Um, it's easy for you to use both hands. Oh, right. There we go. Now, that was pretty close to my fingers, so I think we'll stop <laughs> right there. What did I tell you this one? Baking soda. And we're just going to put some beautiful strokes on the skin of the... After we do this, yep. um, 
usually what we'll do is we will hang this um, pork belly up mm -hmm. to air dry. Oh. Right, to remove further moisture. Now, what we're doing here is patting it dry on a cloth mm -hmm. in preparation for the next step, which will be the uh, stuffing of the ingredients, and which you're going to be involved right away. So we've got the two cheeses there. We've got the ME4 and then you've also have the Hokkaido, Hokkaido cheese. cheese. I love these products, right? Mm -hmm. So easy to use. Mm -hmm. Like as you can see, we're going to be just squeezing them right out of the uh, packaging. Yep. Right? Perfect for the uh, home chef. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just uh, go crazy with the, uh, the seasonings? You just think. Just uh, a, a, do, a, do it? Just an instinctive sprinkle, yeah? I'll just uh, put the finishing touches on it just mm. to... Uh, Lend some authenticity to the whole, uh, <laughs> to the whole put experience. Put a bit of yeah. <laughs> What say you? Chef uh, right. Marcus, you need to put a bit of what about, what about pepper? There? Yeah, a bit of oh, pepper. Yeah. Yeah. So the Done. next step, um, we've got the Mediterranean herbs. <laughs> Not too much, no, but there you go. Whole, the whole as thing. As generous <laughs> as you want it to be. So, so the, like the it. more you stuff it, the harder it will be for us to trust. Oh. But that will, well, that will be a, a good challenge for both of us. <laughs> and now the moment of truth because cheese. these cheeses uh, have really won our hearts. Uh, mm -hmm. The Morinaga ME4 and also the uh, Hokkaido, Hokkaido cheese. cheese. Beautiful stuff. You've done piping before, of course. Yeah. And well, then uh, <laughs> no better way than to uh, begin again and give it a go. Okay, Chef, why don't you do the Hokkaido? Yeah, absolutely. And Let's do just the do the it ME4. together in unison. Right? Oh. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Well, she is really going with the flow, as you can see. I mean, I'm trying to get it structured, but um, there you go. Are you ready to truss? So we truss a, uh, or, or you know, we tie it up with a string, right? As Anybody you were saying, which you wanted to eat earlier, um, <laughs> so that it doesn't lose its shape. And I'm just gonna be rolling this up. Yeah, we're just gonna do it this way, just for the camera to see it squirting a little. There we go. So it's actually really nicely done. Yeah. I've kept it all inside. I'm just gonna pop it down this way. Mm -hmm. And you've got to do it tight, okay. right? So that it keeps everything in there. So it's all ready. We're gonna okay. put this on a baking tray and, uh, and pop it in, pop the, it in oven the oven for 160 degrees for an hour. The firecracker pocket. Pocket. It's yeah. in the oven. It's uh, yeah, nicely yeah, we'll, roasting. We'll come back to it later. Absolutely. But right now, we're going to go into the next dish yeah. that we can do at home and have it for Chinese New Year as well. And we're going to do uh, a very traditional curry chicken, but that is a complement to a bigger dish that we created, especially to celebrate Chinese New Year, this incredible festival with you guys. Wow! Gong si, gong si, for for Chu Pillow. Pillow. Yay! Well, so I can presenting. imagine it in my head already. <laughs> you chef. can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So nice and fluffy. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, again, we are really excited to be using the Morinaga cheeses, mm -hmm. right? Which uh, the ME4. Yep. And also um, the Hokkaido cheese, right? Okay. Something uh, so complex yet so simple uh, with a lot of subtleties and and uh, different highlights in taste. Mm -hmm. These cheeses are meant to substitute the coconut, oh. right? To create the consistency, right? That is so reminis reminiscent of uh, wonderful curries, right? You've got to get this thick, yeah. cloying effect in your mouth yes. uh, with the spices. Mm -hmm. And so these cheeses are meant to mimic the effect of coconut. Well, you could still put a bit of uh, traditional coconut to enhance the flavor. Oh. But uh, in our experimentation, we found that these two cheeses um, when you mix it up and uh, put it together, could make a perfect curry. So, the curry chicken is going to be uh, tossed uh, in this saucepan okay. here. Um, we have uh, some chicken thighs, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll just run through the, sp the spices. If you've yep. got uh, very traditional curry powder, mm -hmm. some garlic, the two cheeses as we explained, mm -hmm. and this. Why don't you give that a whiff? It's, it's curry leaves. This one needs little introduction, lemon grass, lemon grass. of course. Like and uh, this grass. one looks the way it sounds, the way it's called, the star anise. This one um, needs little introduction. Would you introduce that for us? Cinnamon. There you go. All right, chef, let's get started. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just, uh, you know, put your cutting skills to the test and give that a little go. Oh, you're doing perfect. Do I cut this new hard? Uh, you could halve it again. Very useful there. Perfect with the knife yeah. skills. You pick up the curry powder. Mm -hmm. Have that ready for action. If you like, uh, you yeah. could just uh, drizzle some on the chicken. Curry bee? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're at it, why don't you just uh, like sponge it up it, and mix right? it all in. Okay. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. I'm uh, of course just browning lightly the uh, onions, the garlic, ah. uh, with a bit of olive oil. 
Yeah. Since you're ready and since you're at it, just pop that. No, no, do, do it. No worries. I brought the uh, saucepan too. Okay, we're going in. Yeah, just nice and easy. Just let it go. It's Ooh. not going to splatter. There you go. So that's a semblance of how you make the, the curry. You mm -hmm. might, of course, put more curry powder. Uh, you just want to brown this up. I finished everything, Jen. Yeah, you can just pop the remainder in there too. Whee. Okay. You so just cracked the cinnamon it? like I that? I did, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, uh, wow. what, what I'm trying to do now is just brown it on both sides. I'll flip it in a moment. Mm -hmm. But this seals in the juices and also the crust the chicken so, the, so there's a bit more flavour. So we make sure that the chicken is not fully cooked. Yes, it's yeah. not fully cooked. And okay. as you can see, just a very light browning. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to introduce some uh, stock. Okay. Any stock? Um, we, chicken we've stock? used chicken stock. Okay. And as you see, the flavours are all wafting up. Wow, right. it has more already. Beautiful. <laughs> Would you like to pop some of this cheese in there? Okay. There you, go. you could use your hand, mm -hmm. really. Both? Yes, Everything? Please. Everything. <gasps> nice and generous. On top of the chicken? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Perfectly done. Yeah. And then the Emmy fall. There you go. Oh, I can smell the... I can smell the cheese. So you've got the cheese down. So if you just pop a bit of that in there. Just a bit. Beautiful. So that adds, that, that will thicken and add a bit of shine to the whole thing. And there you oh, go, it's looking very much like curry. Yeah. So this will be this will be slow cooked for about uh, 45 minutes. We had a special power in Cookbook with Jay, mm -hmm. but the special power of time travel, we got the curry ready. And I know we got your back. And here it is. Ta -da! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, great yeah, stuff. Yeah, we have special powers in so, our episodes too. <laughs> that was us uh, simmering it for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, mm. Look at that nice concentrated curry. The next step, of course, we're going to construct the... Pillow. pillow the fortune pillow. And uh, how we're going to do that is... So this uh, can be readily wow. bought. This uh, can be readily store bought. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, it's a puff pastry. Oh, puff pastry. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm it's going to puff up. Uh, just hang on to it. <laughs> we'll put some of this curry that we made together here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ah, what should we do with this? What do you reckon? Put more. You think so? Possible? Yeah, we had some cheese sure. in there already, but... but uh, can, we, can we do more? Well, why don't we, right? Why don't mm -hmm. we, since you suggest... Yeah, since it's something that you can replicate would, uh, at home. So this is really going to be a really, really cheesy Cheesy kibble. ones, yeah. If you would just put it on diamond shape like that. Oh, but it's like overflowing. No, 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 it's all good. There you go. And if you just want to prise that up. Oh. Beautiful, there you go. You've done this before, of course, <gasps> right? <gasps> there you go, presto. So you just want to pull it to the edges and tuck all the edges in if, I, if, if you Ooh, can. The yes, yes, please. Like the, so you may want to just trim this off. I'll just do that quickly for you. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, it's getting a little sticky now. Yeah. But we do, so we have to like wrap work, it before. Work, work with it quickly oh. from the freezer. This is this is not a fast forward video. This is <laughs> this is her doing it quickly. <laughs> so you've, you've got it all done. Mm -hmm. The egg wash. Give it a nice glorious. But before that, you just might want to just score this a little. Ooh, and then we apply. Just single strokes <laughs> will be good. <laughs> You're doing good. There you have it. You might just want to lift it up to the camera, something that uh, I'm not sure you've done this before, but uh, your very own uh, fortune, fortune pillow. Fortune pillow, full of fortune inside. So let's pop it into the oven. Yeah, it's going to the and, oven. Let's go. Um, yes, chef. So we are done with the firecracker pokiata. And then we also have the uh, Kong Si Fortune Pillow that we're done. But Chef, something is missing here. Well, not quite missing, but I think something sweet would always be nice to There's end. There's always uh, an anti stomach to it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking, why don't, we, why don't we work together to create something together? Something cheesy, a bit like a dessert drink. Well, I see the ingredients here. I put I'm together excited. something, mm -hmm. yes. We are using fresh, very fresh uh, coconut, coconut juice. juice. And of course, you've got the uh, strawberries. Mm -hmm. You've got the homemade gelato, condensed milk, and some flowers for garnish. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the very versatile 
ME4 ME4 cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> wow. ME4 cheese is absolutely versatile. Something that uh, it, it has so many uses. You've mm -hmm. seen it done with a pillow. You've mm. seen it done with uh, also with a pochetta. Yep. And we're going to be incorporating this cheese into our dessert drink. Our dessert drink. Chef, I'm ready. Well, is it complicated? Let's, uh, Let me cut strawberries for you. You can. I think you might want to just have those. I'm a good disciple, Chef. That's wow. perfect. You perfect might just want to. Uh, uh -huh. I'm just going to pour some of this fresh uh, coconut juice in here for Do you. Do we have to be very exact on the proportion? Um, of no, you don't really have to be so precise. Okay. But it's about 120 uh, milliliters, it's right? Like a bowl. If you just want to <laughs> pop it in there. Okay. Ooh. With the help of actually uh, a spoon, a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you like to label the gelato inside, to ladle it inside. Oh. Well, we can just do that. Yo! Oh, that was very uh, glamorous, in, but uh, two scoops of this, so uh, ME4. ME4 cheese. This yeah. is our ME4 cheese. Two scoops. Two scoops, yeah. Two scoops will be perfect. Well, I, that's Big basically that's basically everything in there. Very so. specific. And of Done. course, we need... Condensed milk. A dollop of condensed milk. Here mm -hmm. we go. I'll just assist you yes. with that. It's a little sticky, so this brings about more of the sweetness that we need. And those nicely uh, sliced strawberries, if, exactly. if, if we may. My hard work. <laughs> there you go. If you just pop it in there. All of them? Please. Okay, strawberries are going in. Okay. And... Keep on blending and you may just want to increase it just a little. Right about there and perfect. There you go. The part about uh, beautifying something will be left to you if you would just pop uh, two of these flowers in there and then you'll have the perfect creation. Chef, what's my skills? My hands are shaking. No, you're doing great. <laughs> it's perfectly poised and uh, befitting a Michelin star chef. This drink would present the best of a sweet uh, dessert-like drink mm -hmm. with um, a bit of uh, the savoury. But right now, we can actually pair this with two of our dishes that we did earlier on and yeah. then we can have a feast. Sounds, sounds perfect. <laughs> Okay, you can see our table here. Full of what am I doing? Man? Out from the oven. So we have our firecracker pochiata. You can hear it now. Listen to that. Oh, that smoke. Absolutely ju juicy at the core. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at the golden crypts outside. Like, the colour is super amazing. The sound of success. Mmm. Chef, I want to do this honour. Absolutely. But first, you must uh, you oh. know, maybe play on the xylophone. So crisp as usual. And so I think we should dig into it to experience the uh, Morinaga cheese. Cheeses. Yeah, just dig deep from within oh, and you can oh, see oh, the beautiful oh, cheeses which uh, you know create this very festive kind of experience. So we've got a curry chicken that we made earlier and you've got the combination of the cheeses. Oh my gosh, yeah. Guess. There you go, keep going, Guess. keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beautiful. So it's a lovely viscosity to the cheese that we've yeah. been using. What do you think? Molten Morinaga cheeses. Mm. Utterly de delightful with a bit of uh, curry sauce. And of course, all the while enshconch in this pillow right, that we created. T totally addictive. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I think the proof is in uh, how she's reacting. So uh, enough said. We've got to make this dish at home and uh, try to experience this magic yourself oh. over the Chinese New Year holidays. Most importantly again, 
the more naga cheeses lends itself so easily to the creation of these dishes. All we had to do earlier was just to pipe it in. Yeah. Yes. Effortless. We didn't even have to do di a mix different kind of cheeses to get such no, creamy, such a, like the cheese pool, you know. It's easy with the MV4 cheese and the Hokkaido cheese paste. So we've got two dishes and the drink what <laughs> is most important too is to finish the evening. Mm -hmm. A sweet dessert drink. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, here we go. We'll just uh, allow you to give that a taste. Mm. Ooh. Was that quite revelatory? I've never expected it to taste like this. Okay. You know that? <laughs> it's very refreshing. Like, you've, I've never tasted something like this before. Yeah. Would you oh. say it's a perfect combination to, uh, you know, the pillow and of course the, uh, the firecracker? Well, I would have this every day. You would. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, Chef, if we want to taste a little more of your style, where can we find you? Um, well, you can look for us uh, across the island at different outlets, but uh, please join us at Robato, which is uh, at Greenwood Avenue in Bukit Timah. We've been there for a long time and we'll be there forever, <laughs> we hope. So come join us. Or you can ask Chef about like how you can use more naga cheeses into different kind of dishes. Yeah, so glad to see you and uh, we'll catch you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode and of course, Sing Dien Koi Le! Sing Dien Koi Le! Chef, you cannot, hey. cannot copy me. Really next, uh, next, next, next time, next time, next time. Next time. Uh, <laughs> for you. <laughs> we'll see you sometime next time in the future. Bye! Catch you soon! ME4 cheese sauce and Hokkaido cheese paste from Morinaga have really opened up my mind. So there are many uses for many dishes for a home cook. Chef Marcus has taught me one has to go out there and explore more. I'm really thankful for all the chefs who appeared on this first series of Cookbook with Jay. I truly learned a lot from them. I started this cookbook series one year ago in the midst of trying times. But one year later, the war is moving on and everything is opening up. While it's the new year, I figured why not take what I have learned and really go out there to explore more stuff. Who knows, maybe I'll be back for more with new learning. But for now, let's keep it a book again here.